Wirehaired Pointing Griffin vs. Russell Terrier, a Terrier Breed Showdown. When it comes to choosing a new furry friend, the options seem endless. One of the many factors you may consider is the breed. In this video, we will compare two popular terrier breeds, the Wirehaired Pointing Griffin and the Russell Terrier. These two breeds differ not only in appearance, but also in their temperament, exercise needs, and trainability. So, let's dive in and explore which of these terrier breeds is better suited for you. Appearance The wire-haired pointing griffin and the Russell Terrier have distinct and appealing appearances. The wire-haired pointing griffin is a medium-sized breed with a wiry and weather-resistant coat that gives them a rugged yet elegant look. They have a square-shaped head with a deep muzzle and expressive eyes. On the other hand, the Russell Terrier is a small-sized breed, often confused with its close relatives, the Jack Russell Terrier and the Parson Russell Terrier. With a smooth coat, short legs, and an athletic build, the Russell Terrier exudes charm and agility. Despite their differences in size, both breeds have a certain allure that can capture the hearts of dog lovers. Temperament Understanding the temperament of a breed is crucial for a harmonious coexistence. Wire-haired pointing griffins are known for their friendly, intelligent, and affectionate nature. They are often described as being great family dogs who enjoy socializing with humans and other pets. Their gentle and patient disposition makes them a good choice for families with children. On the other hand, the Russell Terrier is known for its high energy levels and terrier-like tenacity. They are bold, alert, and highly energetic, always ready for a play session or an adventure. While they can be loving and loyal towards their family members, their strong prey drive means they may not be suitable for households with smaller pets. Exercise Needs Both the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Russell Terrier are active breeds that require regular exercise to keep them happy and healthy. However, there are some differences in their exercise needs. As a versatile hunting breed, the wire-haired pointing griffin requires a higher level of physical activity. They thrive in activities such as hiking, running, swimming, and even agility training. Providing them with mental stimulation, such as puzzle toys or scent work, is also essential. On the other hand, the Russell Terrier, while active, does not require as much exercise as the wire-haired pointing griffin. Daily walks and playtime in a securely fenced yard should suffice to meet their exercise needs. However, it's important to note that both breeds should never be left alone without physical and mental stimulation, as boredom can lead to destructive behavior. Trainability When it comes to trainability, the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Russell Terrier have different learning curves. Wire-haired pointing griffins are intelligent and eager to please, making them relatively easy to train. They respond well to positive reinforcement methods and enjoy learning new tricks and tasks. With consistency, patience, and positive reinforcement training techniques, you can mold them into well-behaved companions. On the other hand, Russell Terriers, with their independent nature, can be a bit more challenging to train. They are intelligent but may have a stubborn streak that requires a firm and consistent approach. Early socialization and obedience training are crucial for them to grow into well-rounded dogs. In the wire-haired pointing griffin vs. Russell Terrier showdown, both breeds have their unique qualities and characteristics. The wire-haired pointing griffin stands out with its friendly temperament, high exercise needs, and relative ease of trainability. They are perfect for active families who enjoy outdoor adventures and are looking for a loyal and affectionate companion. On the other hand, the Russell Terrier offers charm, agility, and a terrier-like spunk. They are suitable for individuals or families who can provide ample mental and physical stimulation to keep up with their energy levels. Ultimately, the choice between these two breeds depends on your lifestyle, preferences, and ability to meet their respective needs.